All right, so in this example, we need to go ahead and graph. So we know the equation is in the form y equals a times b to the x, right? So if I'm going to go and graph this, the main important thing, if you guys remember, if you guys look in your notes, when we have an equation in this format, what was our y-intercept? Our y-intercept was 0, comma, a. a. So what is our a in this case? 1 half. So ladies and gentlemen, I automatically know what the y-intercept is. It's going to be at 1 half, right? Done. Very, very quick and easy. Now, the next thing I want to do is all I'm going to ask you guys to do when you're graphing is to give me three points. One to the left of the y-intercept and one to the right of the y-intercept. Now, typically, if you don't have like graphing technology, a graphing calculator, or you can't get on a computer, we just go ahead and pick values, right? Now, all I want you guys, all I'm asking you guys to do is just pick a point to the right and to the left of your of this point. So to take a look at this graph is, let's just go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do uh, I'll do 1 and negative 1. Okay, So when I plug in 1, or let's plug in negative 1 first. So if I do y equals 1 half times 3 to the negative 1. Does anybody remember how to write a negative exponent as a positive exponent? I might have even written it on the board so you guys can see. You can put it into the denominator, right? So therefore, I can rewrite this as 1 equals y over 1 over 3, or sorry. So it's 1 half times 1 over 3 to the first power. Does everybody agree with me? And therefore, this equals 1 sixth. Now, 1 sixth, that's a pretty small decimal, right? If I was going to type that in my calculator to get the decimal equivalent, I would do 1 divided by 6, and I get 0.1666. That's pretty close. That's pretty small, right? 1 half is 0.5. At negative 1, I'm at 0.16. So I'm like right over there, OK? Now let's plug in. Let's do 1. So if I did y equals 1 half times 3 raised to the first power, that would be y equals 3 halves. To plot this, I'd recommend using the decimal equivalent of 3 halves, which is 1.5. Okay. Now, again, what do we know about the understanding of the behavior of this graph? We know this graph is a, well, first of all, sorry. Let's look at the value of b. We know that this graph is a growth graph because b is greater than 1, correct? Right? And we know that it's also an a is greater than 0. We also know this graph is going to approach an asymptote, right? And that asymptote is going to be at, zero, at, at y equals 0. So my graph is going to kind of look something like this. It's going to look like it's on the y-intercept, but it's actually never going to approach that. But therefore, it's just going to follow along that path. And then we know that it's not, it's not like a line, right? Because remember what we looked up here? This, the slopes are ever increasing. It keeps on increasing, increasing faster and faster, right? Remember what we looked at over there? So that's why the behavior of that graph looks like that. Is everybody OK with that? Now, yes.